Hi guys, welcome to Basically Physio. Today we want to explore which scale to use to assess plasticity. Is it the modified Asher scale or the modified Tardew scale? As we learned from previous videos, spasticity is quite common after a stroke or after a head or brain injury. Let's look at the modified Ashworth scale first, simply known as the MAS. For a score of 0, it's quite simple, it's just no muscle tone. For a score of 1, there is a catch and this is at the last bit of the range of motion. For a score of 1+, plus, there is a resistance that remains through the last one quarter of the range. For a score of 2, there is a resistance that remains throughout most of the range of motion, however the limb is actually moved easily. For a score of 3, the passive movement is actually difficult. And lastly, for a score of 4, the limb is just rigid in either flexion or extension. Next is the modified Tardew scale, simply known as MTS. For a score of 0, it simply means that there is no resistance to the range of motion. For score of 1, there is no clear catch, however there is some slight resistance through the range of the motion. For a score of 2, there is a clear catch at any angle of the range of motion and there is also a release of the catch. For a score of 3, there is fatigable cloners of less than 10 seconds and for a score of 4, there is non-fatigable cloners of more than 10 seconds. When using the MTS, we actually have to consider the velocity and also the range of motion where the resistance occurs. So for the velocity of the stretch, there's V1, V2 and V3. This means that we have to conduct the test for the limb at all of these three velocities. For V1, it is moving as slow as possible. For V2, it is moving at the speed of the gravity. And for V3, it is moving as fast as possible. For the angles R1 and R2, R1 is just the angle that the catch is presented when there is fast velocity, meaning V2 or V3. And for R2, it is just a passive range of motion following a slow velocity which is the V1. The importance of the R1 and R2 comes when the difference between these two values is big or small. When it is big, the likelihood of spasticity is high. When the difference is small, the likelihood of a contracture is high. The table here summarizes the differences between the MAS and the MTS. For the MAS, the strength is that it is fast and easy to use. However, for the weakness, there's quite a few. It does not consider the velocity or the clonus component which is important for spasticity and it is not able to differentiate easily between a contracture or a spasticity. And lastly, as you can see, this scale can be quite subjective. For the modified Tardew scale, the strength is that there is a differentiation between the contracture versus spasticity and it also includes the element of cloners in the scale. However, for the weakness, it is not an easy scale to learn or teach, especially to different staffs of different training backgrounds.